happy. And if you notice, there's no orb. On the news last night, ladies had to say there's a very, very, very slight chance there might be sprinkles today. Well, that's rain up there. And that direction and that direction are the two fields we were going to try to go combine at today. It's been raining at both of those fields for the last few hours. Yay. And the group that goes over here, yeah, they're still up there in the hay field somewhere. I might get some of them when I get up there. But, and I'm moving real slow today. I laid in bed too long. It was so comfortable because laying there, I don't hurt. Then I got up. Then I sat down and decided to have some coffee. Yeah, I hurt. Hopefully, a few more days and I'll feel better. In the meantime, number one's up there right now getting the traveler ready to move. And I think I'm going to just sit on a bike and make her do it. I hope. She's got to learn how anyway. She's got part of it figured out. She's just got to get the rest figured out. So, And I don't know what we're going to do today. I got a bunch of stuff I could be moving around. I can sit on the skid steer. It's just getting on it. That's the pain in the ass. And do still need to get some hay out for that group. But they don't have to have it yet. They can wait another couple of days. But in another couple of days, it may be busy. I don't know. We'll see. That calf just got up. Big old stretch. They're all relaxing here for the most part. Two cows standing. Two calves standing. Everybody else laying down. Bam, bam, right there in the middle. So. And. Really, can't even tell they've been out there yet. Just know they have, right? And it looks like some of them spent some time right here last night. And the puddle's gone again. Go figure. It's going to come and go. I don't know what to do. Other than, you know, when something goes bad, we dig it up and fix it. Last thing I want to do is go digging into it and find it before I, you know, before I think I'm to it. I know where how deep it should be, but... You know, that was damn near 50 years ago it went in the ground. At least 40 years ago. Okay, there's enough looking around. She's up there getting it ready. i got to get up there and at least tell her what to do, if not help her. She got it all ready to move on her own. I figured she could. It's not like she don't know how. She just hasn't done it before. Too low of a gear, but that's okay. She's getting a move. I just took the riser back on. There's a handle there for manually trying to turn it in, and it sticks up. So I just took the riser on there and let it go. And yeah, wet spot, low spot, unfortunately. And with our leakies, it leaves a little water. But the thing is, that water goes down through there helps keep that spring down below activated. Whatever runs down there is working its way back to the creek. So really anything here eventually gets back to the creek as long as it gets in the ground. And I gotta try to figure out when to tell her to stop. She got a ways to go though. So there, now you got that view of the thing moving. And Yep, I think it's a little wet up there. Stuff was going to be questionable for moisture in the heads anyway. That kind of answers that question. Drops it back another freaking week probably. And I had glorious plans of being done very soon. Then maybe getting the equipment cleaned out, put away, get some groundwork. Maybe get something planted like we need to get done. But Mother Nature, 
It's been a weird year. She's getting her. There you go stick your hand on that shaft over there. It's got dogs on the end of it for when it's turned around to run things. That's not someplace I'm going to put my hand. I go down to the other end and show her where to stop. Hopefully she's actually going where I told her to. It's taken all morning. I can just barely feel a mist coming from that direction. Just barely feel it. You can't see anything anywhere. There ain't absolutely nothing hitting the ground and staying. And I don't know if you can see this or not. Oh, zoom in. Mom's down there doing a little spot spraying for broadleaf. And we got some weeds. Oh, they came in years ago. They're harder than hell to get rid of. And I have no idea what they are. They're in the old creek bed, and there's some along the creek. So, number one, trying to see if she can do something with those again. Nothing eats them. They just take up space, and nothing, absolutely nothing grows around the stupid things. So, that's what's happening. This thing's sitting here just waiting. Yeah. Not like we can do much else at the moment. If I could move better, we might have tried a piece up on the hill behind me, but by now it's getting damp, so. And say so all of it was, you know, I grotted some out and tried it, and it should have been a little harder the other day, but it's what happens when you get a little mist in the hills, it soaks it up, softens it up. Then you can't freaking store it, and we don't have anything like a dryer. I know of one dryer in the whole frickin' region. <laughs> the guy between here and Cuneus decided he was going to start growing some corn for a couple of dairies, and he went out and bought a dryer. That's the only one I know of. It's very similar to the one that Straight Pipe Acres has. Of course, I've also thought, hmm, I know where there's a couple of derelict grinder mixers. If the mixture part's good, they'd work as a dryer. You can circulate it. You just can't do too much at a time. Years ago, we also used to circulate it from one truck to another. Just keep the augers going. You keep moving it, it'll dry down. But, you know, you got to have a dry day to do that, too. So, anyway. The dog's life. Randy's laying there. Whiskey's laying there. Blues underneath the back of the trailer. And I would imagine that Red is out with number one. He's been pretty outgoing lately going out there and running around. He was out with us all morning, so. But, hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. Can't even start working any ground anywhere because, well, not done baling yet because we haven't combined yet. Little things that just drive me crazy. Time off when number one doesn't show up doesn't help any, but you know, my back being messed up doesn't help a damn bit either. And they sit here and they came from over by the other trees. The next thing I know, one's bellering at me. Maybe I'm in their way, maybe they want the shade over here, I don't know. They made pretty short sure work of this pasture already. disappointed hoping to get a few more days out of it but it is what it is this kind of weather ain't gonna hurt the grass growing any not too freaking hot so, yeah it is what it is get some combiner done and make up some shitty straws for feeding them shitty straw while they still get some decent grass Yep, they like to eat trees. Wasn't that nice of you to run the sprinkler close enough to knock the bunch of bells off for them? Oh, that's a fruit tree, not a freaking long one pine. We're good. By the way, this is how the day's pretty much turned out. Windy and partially sunny, partially cloudy, whatever you want to call it today. Either way, blue sky.